Chat is crowded today. Wow, you guys completely spamming before I even get online. Hello to Ghetto Porridge, to Foldminator. We have Michael White in the house, uh, as well as Chespe, Eirik, Oscar. We have Vertwich and Chris. We also have Adult in the house. And Knalex and Saga and Bomber Boy. What is going on right here? So many people in the chat. And Chespe is giving out her uh, Spain Soccer World Cup emotes. Which reminds me, I've actually I've actually been out for a walk, so I don't know the the current results. I'm gonna have to check up on the. Wow, Uruguay only managed to beat Saudi Arabia one to nil, and Spain has played 33 minutes against Iran without scoring a goal. Interesting. Interesting action there in those soccer World Cup games. Hammer, your hair was styled by a tornado today. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Now this is what it does when I don't give a, I I don't give it the effort it deserves. And also I was out on my bike, uh, biking downhill, and then it kind of just. All the, the the wind blowing the hair back. Uh, there's a red card. Red card says Sega Genesis. There's a red card. I missed that. Let me let me see what has happened. No, there's no red card. You're playing tricks with my mind, Sega Genesis. Sort of the mad scientist look, says Robert. Uh, yeah, I can go for that. It suits me. Red card. E Why are you giving red card emotes? I'm looking at the scoreboard. There has been no red cards. Or are you, are you saying something just happened? Okay, I'm gonna have to open the um, the the match itself, and then I gotta make sure it doesn't make a sound because I don't want to do something illegal. And there's a tackle. The guy doesn't even hit the. I mean, he's not even touching the Spanish player. So I mean, it's not even a free kick, let alone a red card. Oh, and it wasn't. A free kick was not given, and Iran is having a throw-in. So that's pretty good. A referee that actually saw that the Spanish guy just fell on his own accord. Ah, oh, you're giving my hair a red card. Okay, well, I mean, I can go offline and try to make an effort. If that's what you really, really want. I can pat it. A little bit. Don't explain the joke. It ruins 70% of the effect, says Hubi. Yeah. Well, at the same time, when you tell jokes to just completely clueless people, then at some point you gotta explain it. Just to make sure that that person understands that you are smarter, funnier, and more clever. Uh, do you have a Magnus uh, 2018 World Chess Championship cap? Asks Hiyata Man. Are you asking me whether I can manufacture them? Or are you saying that they exist? And you're asking whether I have one. Because if they exist, I am unaware. And I desperately want one. Uh, and if they do not exist, then... Probably I'll get on that right away. That sounds like a shrewd business idea. Jackie the Swede is back. Long time no see. 
call someone to manufacture it. Yeah, I'll get on top of that. And maybe there's some kind of rights using people's names and stuff. I'll I'll research what kind of legality I need to to fix before starting those caps. Uh, aren't you watching uh, Spain against Iran? Asks um, Johannes. Yeah, I just turned it on. Uh, I right before the stream, which is why my hair is a bit messed up and um, and, and stuff. Then um, I was out having a walk, so I haven't been watching the game so far. I can see that Iran has a corner kick, so that's interesting. Iran winning the first game, um, winning the first match, and now maybe they're gonna make tied. Uh, until halftime against Spain. That's pretty good. Ooh, that it's a bad sign when an, an Iranian guy just goes down into the grass and uh, and no players were next to him. I think he has hurt himself pretty bad. You know, when some guy just goes down with no one anywhere near him then you know some muscle or uh, z yeah something is is off uh hi all good luck Jonovic says zernix thank you uh, marius is writing something with a lot of text so i'm gonna have to read the text and then decide whether or not i care to repeat it mm. I heard Eric Hansen mention recently that he didn't below believe Yasser Saravan's Karo Khan is so out of date that he would not stand a chance in a competitive game. He said the opening had changed so drastically the last 15 years that if you don't read up, you would get crushed. Okay, so Marius is uh, spending six lines of text, text essentially asking, do you think you could play the Karo Khan without being up to date on current theory? Uh, and I guess the answer to that is, at the very highest levels, I think you should be up to date uh, when playing the top guys because they have some pretty good preparation and uh, you might not survive the opening if you're not sufficiently prepared and that pretty much applies to any black opening so with white you can pretty much do whatever you want without getting into tr too much trouble whereas with black you're always going to need some some care Okay, there's a big fight on the soccer pitch. The referee is having some discussion, pointing at Diego Costa and asking everyone else to go away. This is interesting. Diego Costa's he's basically the, the most ill-tempered player uh, in the world. And the referee wants to have a one-on-one -on -one with him. But it seems like Costa is getting away with a warning... Okay, it seems like Costa stepped on the goalkeeper's foot and he got away with it. He got away with it. I don't think he even got a yellow card. Okay, I'm sorry about my um, chessboard disappearing, but that happens. Uh, Tarheid asks, uh, how are you doing today? We're cheering for you and count on a uh, win yeah that's your optimism is very much appreciated but i do believe that the mayor is is playing the tournament so i don't know about um winning it seems like a lot of my setup got twisted a little bit hmm 
Johannes is concerned about whether or not Germany is even going to make it through the group stage. You know that the reigning champion hasn't made it out of the group stage three of the last four championships. I mean, it's an insane st statistic. And with Germany losing their first game in, in this World Cup, it just it astounds me that the reigning champion is having so much trouble. Uh, did you watch the Nakamura playing the Komodo computer opinion? Uh, I did not see it. I was busy doing other things. I think the Brazil game was on at the same time, amongst other things. Um, I I read that Nakamura won 20 to 3 or something. And to me, it just sounds like it's not going to be very interesting when one party uh, wins by 17 points. Um, so I didn't watch it. I cannot really give an opinion, but just the score line seems to indicate that there's limits to how interesting it could have been. Uh, Chespe says that uh, I think Nakamura is brave to do those shows against the computer. And he's a great communicator at telling us what is going on. Okay, so that's interesting. Hikaru himself was the main commentator for the match? Or was he streaming in addition to a, an official chess.com stream? Uh, Robin asks, would you agree that Magnus' style can most be compared with the Lasker? Honestly, I'm not a big chess history buff, uh, and I have not studied enough of the previous champions to be able to tell you uh, whether he compares to Lasker. Well, I, I, I think that Magnus, when it comes to uh, opposite bishop endgames, uh, I think he's actually an improved version of Karpov, who is uh, reputed to be extremely good at those. And I would say Magnus is even better. I believe Magnus' uh, Queen Endgames is also above anything anyone else has ever performed. Um... Yeah, I think if you break down specific parts of the game, then you can compare the guys. Uh, but I think as a whole, I don't know how to compare it to uh, previous championships. Are your glasses skewed? Yeah, a little bit. No, it, it they're, they're completely fine, but they do not sit very well on my ears. So uh, amongst the things that happened with me starting the stream a little bit stressed is that i forgot to get my second pair of glasses um i'm playing the arena today says jackie the swede i'm sorry but i just gotta go for it that's that's fun uh are you gonna vary openings a bit today i would love to see you try a london system says tarheid um normally i play very varied openings uh, but today I'm considering trying a more of a mainstream approach, only playing things that I know pretty well. Wrench was doing commentary with Hikaru. That's interesting. Uh, I'm way behind the chat on what's going on. When is the next stream with Magnus? I don't know. I think he streams when he feels like it. Uh, you uh, do check out his uh, his Twitch account, which is um, Muskenissen. I'll uh, write it down. I see Mayer wins almost every single time in Arena Kings. How good is he compared to the top chess elite? Well, I can tell you how good he is. He's about as good as I am. Um, which somehow makes no sense but i mean 
over the board were basically equally strong. But it seems that he's a much stronger Blitz player than me, and also better with internet chess. Um, I, I have some trouble reconciling that, but uh, this standing, which I'm now going to show, uh, that's the wrong one. This is the right one. Uh, this one does seem to indicate that Georg Meyer is some kind of next level human. Uh, he's uh, not 2700 plus feet. I think he's never been above 2700. He's about 2640. So he's about the same rating as I am, but he's in a completely different league when it comes to Arena Kings. So as far as I I'm concerned, I'm hoping to become the number one placed non-mayor because uh, he seems to have that first place locked down so well. Ooh, mayor is actually lower rated than me. And Eric Hansen is also lower rated than me. Uh, Chess Bay says that mayor is uh, 26, 28. Hansen is 26-29, and Hammer is 26-31. So Hammer is the best chess player, of course. Um, but it's, it's very close uh, between the three of us. And Chess Bay very generously also reminds people that uh, I'm at a low rating compared to what I'm usually at, whereas Eric is at his highest ever rating. I think Mayer has been 2670. Uh, so I have a higher max rating than him as well. Thank you to Snyman. Snyman with the 200 bits. Thank you. Uh, actually, now that I have this these stats up, I'm going to run, get my other pair of glasses. I don't want to sit adjusting my glasses all the time. Yeah, and now we're talking about Dominguez. D Dominguez is a former um, Blitz world champion. And he's rated 100 points above the rest of us. So Dominguez is really, really a big favorite for the special qualifier uh, this coming Tuesday. Um, yeah, so um, looking... Not at this one, but this one. Uh, I have updated the uh, chess arena rankings, arena king rankings. Uh, and as we can see, my second place in Monday's tournament has allowed me to climb from 11th place to 8th. And uh, if I get a win today, I'm looking at the top five. However, getting a win today is going to be very tricky because there are some pretty strong guys uh, hoping to compete for the uh, tournament victory. And going to that spot, we can see... Actually, we have the uh, Turkish um, Chan uh, as the number one seed. Then we have Kustenyuk, the second seed. Uh, both of these people, I believe, I have a... Well, actually, I'm getting... Kustenyuk has been crushing me the last couple of um, Arena Kings. But I have a huge score against the, the Turkish kid. So, um, if this is the final lineup, meaning it's without Georg Meyer, basically... Uh, then I'm going to have very good chances to win this tournament. But I suspect there are people lurking in the background who haven't signed up just yet. Okay, I'm going to look at chat because I have been ignoring you for a little bit. 
Um, over the board blitz, 3 plus 2 is a huge difference from playing online 3-0, says Swing Chopper. Yeah, so Dominguez might not be as huge a favorite as the ratings seems to suggest. Uh, qualifier for what? Asks Hallelujah Cat. It's a qualifier for the Speed Chess Championship being organized by chess.com. Um, I'm looking forward to Hammer for getting to switch back to the board today, says Snyman. Uh, yeah, that's probably going to happen. Where's Georg? Shouldn't he be the top seed? Asks Alec TV. Yes, right now Georg is not on the list. I don't know if he has gone online with his stream. Maybe he's busy. In which case, that doesn't really make any difference because he has got himself a thousand point lead in the overall standings. Uh, so Georg may have just a well deserved Wednesday off. I like your chances, says Ruffio. Yeah, me too. Uh, what's your score against Bartholomew? Asks uh, uh, Xernix. Honestly, I don't know. But I think I'm a better chess player than him. So I feel like if I concentrate and play my best chess, uh, I can beat him. Uh, thank you to Bjarke de Pedersen with the 200 bits. Good luck, he says. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Mayor is in the house. My chances of winning this tournament suddenly dropped significantly. Mayor is in the house. Okay, my enthusiasm has dropped a little bit with that news. Uh, Michael asks, I'm interested to know your thoughts on the Norway cheating news. Um, I'm guessing you mean the uh, blind player who was uh, suspended for life uh, on account of uh, using um, electronic help. In which case, I don't really know what thoughts you're looking for me to have. Because it's, it's pretty much a done deal, no? Nahammer, last day you crushed him, says Vertwich. Yeah, no, I, I crushed him. And actually, in Blitz, my score against Georg is not that bad. I mean, the only times I've really lost against Georg in the in the Arena Kings is when he flags me from an equal position. Uh, so I feel like I do okay against Georg. But the thing is that he has these insane streaks against the rest of the field. So it doesn't really matter too much whether or not I manage to beat him. I basically I need to beat him every single time we play to make sure that he doesn't go on these crazy uh, streaks, uh, winning games in a row. How come Mayer has got such a huge lead? Asks Henning. Well, I can explain that. It's because he wins basically every single tournament, uh, and the rest of us kind of never managed to keep a top three placement in every single uh, Arena Kings. So the explanation to that is just uh, pu pure strength and consistency. He's consistently extremely, extremely strong. And that is why he has such a big lead. Johannes is unhappy about me not mentioning his comments. Um, yeah, if you're... Yeah, I'm sorry.
um, it was not a five-year ban, Swing Chopper. It was a two-year ban he got. And then he cheated once again. Probably. He, uh, the uh, Norwegian Federation Committee at least found it proven that he was cheating and banned him for life. Uh, no warm-ups today. Is that clever? Asks Tarheid. It's, it's kind of your fault. There has been so much stuff going on in chat. And also, I was a bit late uh, getting my ducks in a row. Uh, that warm-up uh, doesn't really seem to be in the cards. But on the other hand, I haven't placed top three in Blitz for two months. So, and all of those times I did warm up and it didn't really pan out. So, who knows? Maybe trying something new is going to be um, a good thing. Uh, do you need a Twitch stream to place? Asks Charlie Wu. Um, yes. Uh, so in order to gain points and have chances to win prizes in the Arena Kings um, series, uh, then yes, you will need to have a Twitch stream uh, going. What you don't need is any viewers. So I mean, if you just play and uh, have a good time and have none viewers and make it to a prize, then good for you. And also, if you make it to a prize, probably you're going to get more viewers on your next stream. Blame chat, says hashtag blame chat, says Chess Bay. Yes, that is my go-to move. My go-to move. Xernix! Xernix with the $20... Uh, donation thank you so much did you get a hammer I think I switched scenes just as your hammer struck down so maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna do a special hammer for you boom Xernix with the $20 thank you I believe in you hammer says Alec TV thank you thank you Alec Um, Ayrik is commenting on Kostenyuk. She has 24.89 in FIDE Blitz. Yeah, but normally she's higher. She's a pretty strong Blitz player. In fact, a lot of the girls are very strong Blitz players. Uh, and I'm not sure it's an accident. Because m most of the top girls are very strong in tactics. And are pretty aggressive players. And that means good calculation. Uh, and good calculation is can be pretty important in in blitz. So uh, the the top girls being good chess players is uh, uh, good blitz players is uh, is nothing new. Show Georg what time it is. Hammer time says Alec. Okay, let's do some hammer times for the first game. Okay, I'm playing Dixon Poon. I have no idea who this is. I have never seen him around before. He's playing with a Great Britain flag. And also, I forgot I was supposed to play openings I know. So I have gone ahead and played an opening I don't know. Ah, uh, that's not clever. Yeah, and he's very well familiar with this opening. Unlike me. I'm very concerned right now. Okay, I think I'll go here. Trying to confuse the guy. Trying to play something that's not the most common way to play. A prize to anyone in the chat finding out who this guy is.
Someone help me out. Who is this guy? Okay, he's thinking a little bit, which is nice. But on the other hand, I have been <laughs> spending so much time without even realizing it myself. Okay, let's go here and then here. Actually, maybe I should have gone A4 first because now I give him an extra option. Okay, but it doesn't really matter. I have some pressure against the a5 pawn, which is kind of unpleasant for him to face. Actually, I'm not even sure how he's going to protect this. Maybe he's going to go rook h5, which is weird, but maybe effective. No, he doesn't go for that. He just gives away the pawn. And you know how I feel about pawns. Let's take them. I'll take a pawn. No problem. I'm a pawn up. Feeling pretty good about that. Let's go with the rook into the middle. And now I get another pawn. Feeling pretty good about that too. Um, so are you guys saying that this guy is not a streamer? Because he cannot win a prize without being a streamer. His bio says I am. Okay, so we have a British I am with an inappropriate name. I just played e5, which was the idea behind my bishop c5 move. And then comes knight g4. I did not see that coming. Um, this is the kind of situation where I wish I had more time to think. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to do... Kind of taking this one is a safe move, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do this. And I'm kind of concerned about bad things happening to me. But I also thought that I would do bad things to him. Okay, let's try to take this one. Ah, that was a blunder. Ah, I missed rook takes... Well, actually, I missed bishop takes b3 in the end. <laughs> ah, that's a bad blunder. Ooh, he's not even taking on c2. That comes as a bit of a surprise to me. Let's try this move. And then this move. Let's just go into defense, maybe. Okay, I got the win. I'm not sure I played magnificently, but I got the win. That's the most important part. Mayer has also won his game, of course. And so we're going to play against him. Let's play a normal Queen's Gambit. Okay. 
Okay, we're going to apply this structure. Um, let's see if I can remember something, what to do here. go here I'm keeping his pace about ish okay so he's doubling on the a file I thought that was uncommon to do in this line but maybe he knows this stuff better than I do Okay, I'm just gonna do something. Thank you to Tofu Hot Pot for the uh, sub. Rook B3 suggests swing chopper, after which I have to uh, remind you that um, suggesting moves is not a good idea for this stream. Uh, it's simply not allowed. Uh, because she, regardless of whether or not the move you suggest is a computer move or not, then just to remove any insecurity, you're just not allowed to suggest moves. Okay, so he has done pretty much everything you're not supposed to do in this position. Uh, which gives me some kind of optimism. You're not supposed to do all of this stuff, and yet he did it. Maybe this is some kind of new German way of playing these positions. Uh, but I'm feeling cautiously optimistic. Uh... Now I'm a bit nervous about something bad happening. Queen e2 bad, but I seem to have things under control. This knight is pretty strong. This knight is pretty strong. I would like to chase it away as soon as possible. For instance, like this. Um, but then I'm left with a bishop that cannot attack this pawn. So maybe this new German way of playing this position is uh, clever. Um, so many pieces I can take. Ooh, actually he has... Wow. Queen e2 next. Okay, I'm going to have to take this one. Then I have to go here. This is very unpleasant. This is not the way it's supposed to be. This is supposed to be a nice align for... for white. And suddenly he came with his rooks and his queen attacking my king, creating all sorts of trouble. And how am I going to protect this guy? I guess I'm going to be brave. Play this move. Voluntarily getting myself into a pin. But hoping that he cannot exploit it. Okay, and then this move. And then this move. I'm actually up on time. I'm not quite sure how that happened. Ooh, there's some real unpleasantness going on. Yeah, I'm in so much trouble. Okay, let me try to... Ugh. Yeah, I'm just lost, I think. 
Wow, he's such a beast. He's such a beast. How did that happen? Such a beast. I have no words. Yeah, good game to him. C3 just winning. Ah, now he's going to give away all his pieces just to establish his dominance. He knew he was going to win on time and he just played a couple of bad moves giving away his pieces. Ah, oh, and I forgot once again that I'm supposed to play openings I know. I'm just playing E4 by default at this point. I'm supposed to play openings I know. Actually, I remembered against Georg and I still lost. And also, I got white three games in a row now. This is my third white in a row. And still, I'm struggling. Getting completely outplayed by the German. The German, I mean, what can we say about him? He just wins every single game. It's not even funny. I seem to remember having some kind of idea against this. Uh, this move, maybe. No, I'm just... No, that was not it. I was supposed to take and go back to E2. That's the move I was supposed to play. This move I did play just loses a pawn for no compensation whatsoever. It sounds like a normal day at the office for Hammer. <laughs> uh, you could have held F2 with knight to D1, says Claude Du. Yeah, I saw that. And then I got the idea that I should play something more aggressive or more ambitious. Uh, and I was wrong. I should not have done that was a bad idea and it lost me the game okay let's take this one then go back I guess I'm gonna play a3 and get a rook to the C file uh, a3 first maybe okay that's interesting strategy from him But I am able to push your rook out of the c5 square, which in turn enables me to get complete control of some juicy squares. Actually, there I should have probably just taken. Uh, let's just put the king towards the center. Okay, and time to exchange off the rooks. I have a dominating position. My knight is going to come to d4. And then there's the problem of winning the position. So I'm, I have a massive situation, but how do I win it? Well, this is a good start. Getting a trade, bishop for knight. And then how to proceed. I'm going to try to play g5. Giving myself a passed pawn on the h file. And then what next? I'm going to play b5 actually. Restricting the bishop. I'm also going to play, well now I'm going to play this move. And now I'm going to play this move. And now I'm going to play this move. Queening the H-pawn. And I get a win. However, Blitzstream, looking at the standings, Blitzstream with four games in a row. I'm a bit behind that. Ooh, and here's Leon Levisha. 
He was pointing the bullet as well, but he was not playing very well. I was crushing him and bullet, and now here he is with the in the blitz segment. Interesting. I still have no idea who this is. So once again, if someone in chat wants to enlighten me, uh, that would be appreciated. Did I play this wrong? No. I think this is something I played against Li Chao and got a pretty nice position with black. So I'm just going to do the same thing here and hope for the best. A4, that's aggressive. A4. I guess I'm going to do this. And this and then put my queen here I'm gonna get a very bad pawn structure but I'm hoping to compensate that actually I'm not too fond of my position I think I'm gonna have to go here No, that was a bad move. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, take this one. Take this one. Yeah, I'm not a fan. I hate my position. A4. Is chat is chess really that easy? Just play A4 and you win. Uh, I am from Croatia, rated about 2500. Okay, that's good to know. Rook C8. I guess I'm going to protect this guy. And then we're going to take this. I'm going to attack this one. I'm actually happy he played queen a4. Because now it's more difficult for him to get this knight to c5. So he had this plan of knight e4, a4 and knight c5. And he kind of lost that opportunity because of... Uh, because of that uh, queen a4 move. So I'm not sure why he felt the need to uh, insert that. Okay, knight e4. So he's going for this square anyhow. I guess I'm going to take this pawn. Because when you have a lousy position, why not take a pawn? But I completely missed. I thought he was going knight c5. I completely missed that he threatened knight d6 as well. And now I'm just dead lost. Completely missed that move. And then I'm just lost. Ah, oh, that's depressing. Yeah, I have nothing. Oh, and there I blundered my bishop as well. Uh. Oh, it's going to be one of those days, isn't it? 
gonna be one of those days. Yeah, good for you, my friend. That's clever. That's clever. Kostenyuk has four wins in a row. Uh, you... Yeah. I'm just going to sit here and be depressed. I think that's the best use of my time. Good news, right now you're winning the viewership awards, says Chess Bay. Yes, I've noticed that people love watching a guy being on tilt. Apparently people find that very attractive. I don't know what's going on. I feel like maybe I'm blundering something. This is a decent position, no? Is Alani pawn? Why is he playing so fast? He's not playing very good moves. I think. In my opinion, good sir. You are not playing good moves. So why are you playing so fast? Well, actually, there might be a correlation. When I play fast, I also play bad moves. Maybe I'm not the only one with that disease. Let's go here. Tilting is when you're not focused on the here and now. Okay, so you're saying I'm not tilting, I'm just playing poorly. Was that, is that your attempt at consoling me or rubbing it in? <laughs> okay, so yeah, well, I'm losing. I mean, to me, tilting is just losing in a bad way multiple times. Is that not good enough? You need to focus on your play right now and not from previous games. I, I understand sports psychology in principle. But then when I lose against Georg like that and some Croatian guy I have never heard of in my entire life, then I get upset. But it would seem I'm winning this game. I don't even care. Did he miss something? I don't understand what's going on. I just got a piece for nothing. I'm a piece up. And the guy's still playing. This is the amount of respect I get among these guys. Are you a clean piece down against Hammer? Well, just keep playing. Something might happen. Thank you to Espen for the sub. Oh, 
Honestly, I'm not playing this very well. But even playing this not very well should be sufficient to win. I'm playing actually horrendously, but still enough to win. Okay, at some point I'm gonna need to speed up. I decided that point is now. He's not gonna swindle me. A clean piece up? I mean, I understand that I get swindled a lot of the time. But a clean piece up? Even I'm capable of winning. Um, not cashew. It's uh, almonds. I got some hazelnuts as well. The cashews are a bit expensive. So I, I had cashews the other day, but they're for more celebratory purchases. I'm not playing the opening very well, but I think it's going to be sufficient. I'm playing a uh, not very highly rated troll. The Equi Troll. Uh, one of the main Norwegian companies, uh, Statoil, uh, changed their names to Equinor. So everyone was saying, ah, so it's a horse company, making fun of the new name. Justifiably, I would say, it's not the greatest of names. But there you go, the big companies changing their names and people getting paid tons to do it. I don't understand that, but Muffle says that cashews are way, way cheaper here compared to almonds and hazelnuts. That's interesting. Uh, where do you live? I am interested in your location. You know what? Let's go here. The Netherlands. Okay, that's interesting. In the Netherlands, uh, cashews are cheaper than almonds and hazelnuts. Very interesting. And I think I just got a pawn for nothing. I got a pawn for free. So that means I'm feeling rather optimistic about this game and now we're gonna put a rook on the open file and if I'm allowed to I'm gonna put a rook deep into the heart of uh, white's position and honestly I don't see how he's gonna prevent it and uh, next up a bishop giving a check And then what next? I guess I'm just going to take a pawn. I'm boring like that. 
Just take a pawn. That's going to make me happy. And now for the finishing touches. I'm going to play. Why am I making this more difficult than it needs to be? I'm two pawns up. Just exchange the queens and get it over with. Basically, right now, I'm just forcing him to play good moves. I mean, I'm rook f2 was a horrible, horrible move. But also, I mean, this queen move was not great either. I'm just forcing him to play good moves. I mean, what am I doing? And now rook e1 is actually kind of a threat. I mean, I executed this so bad, it's insane. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm stuck. I could have just exchanged off the rooks. No harm. No problem. But no, I had to go make it interesting. And he resigns. What is going on? I mean, I had spent... I was about to lose on time from a completely winning position and the guy just ups and resigns okay uh, and I get a 1700 what was that says Michael what says Fisher Rook that was inexplicable I mean that was that was genuinely inexplicable I mean, I was about to mess up the entire position. I was about to lose on time. And then he just ups and resigns? I mean, come on. What the... And speaking of what the... This is in the same category. I guess I'm going to take this one. Okay, so I, I lost actually three pawns. He managed to get three pawns off me. But on the other hand, I have a lot of open files towards his king. Maybe your opponent saw something you didn't. Well, sure, but how likely is that? I've had to resign games previously because my significant other demanded attention, says Trippelngaffel. Ooh, that's harsh. I, I hope that never happens to me. Okay, I guess we're gonna sacrifice something. No, we're just gonna play good solid chess. Just protect our pieces. Actually, now I am going to sacrifice. But it's not really a sacrifice when it's forced mate. Uh, check and mate. Three games in a row. Let's look at the standings. No, we don't have time for that. And another game against the Croatian fellow. How are you doing? What opening are we going to play against you? I guess we're going to do this fashionable thing. And then b6. Is that normal? Am I mixing up my lines? Or is this the place where you go d5? I think this is it. B6 is normal, says the man from Utrecht. Well, it got him thinking. So I don't know if it was normal, because he started thinking. I guess I'm going to castle. And we're going to play 
this kind of thing. Um, how do you play this? I guess you just go... I'm not going to pretend to be playing. I'm just going to do this. And then this. And then this. Okay, so I don't know what this guy is doing, but I feel like my plan is getting along a bit better than his plan. I'm really not sure what he's doing with all those knight moves and stuff. I got my setup the way I wanted it. I might even put in play a4 just for gags knight g4 is a possibility actually the way he put all his pieces over here i'm actually gonna go a4 often you don't want to do this because this pawn might get weakened but i'm thinking i might be able to go use this rook along the second rank So he's going to go f5, I'm going to take, and who knows what's going to happen. No, knight gf6, that's a terrible move. He Probably he missed this bishop g5. He thought he was going to play knight g8 next move, but now his knight is stuck here. This is very bad news for him. And now he's trying to get out of it. But I'm going to stop him. I'm going to have my queen point in this general direction. And now actually I'm threatening bishop h6, which is a bit of a problem for him. Ooh! It's not checkmate on g7! It's not checkmate. I thought I was being a genius and then it turns out I was the patsy. It's not checkmate. What the? I had a completely winning position and I just assumed it was checkmate on g7. Oh my. What am I going to do now? Let's go here. I'm, I'm going to have to flag this guy. I just assumed that queen g7 was checkmate, but he had his knight placed so strangely, in my opinion. But it was effective. It was very effective. Okay, now I'm just desperate. I'm just being very desperate right now. Are you saying that there's nothing resembling checkmate over here? I mean, if I were you, I would be a bit more scared. I mean, this guy doesn't know what the word scared means. It's fascinating. I mean, I would be scared about this attack. Why aren't you? Okay, he blunders his queen. That's a good start. Okay, so the swindle, the swindle gets there, but just barely. I played a good strategic game and then suddenly just gave everything away. But during the course of playing a good strategic game, I managed to get ahead on the clock. So that helped me to get the win. 
Didn't you have a draw after you messed up? Asks Duck is late. Um, not that I noticed. I didn't see a draw there. Wasn't it made up top at the end? No, it was not because my rook was pinned. That was the point of his queen move, that his queen pins my rook. Um, but I did have the opportunity to take his queen, so I don't mind. Yeah, no, so that would... What is going on? Victor blundering a rook. Victor blunders a rook. Suddenly, I'm the luckiest guy alive. What a turnaround. We're going to go to the uh, standings after this game. Just... If Victor is going to resign here, then we can go to the standings. For a brief, brief, brief moment. Actually, we're going to have time for the standings here. Paul from St. Petersburg is uh, currently way in the lead and uh, hammer is catching up because uh, victor just resigned so these are the standings blitzstream and chess queen uh the the best ones among the top chess uh the top um top rated players uh i'm playing the turkish kid we're gonna play a berlin and he's going to play the most boring line of the Berlin. Um, maybe I should be doing something. This is interesting. Okay. Um... Can somebody give me the game theory on that game? He broke my streak. So was that clever of him? Just to break my streak? I, I need to play that through in my head. Whether that was brilliant or idiotic. Also, he gets a point for the draw. Maybe he's a genius. I don't know. Your viewer tilt, your tilt viewership theory ma might have been correct because I think you have less viewers with your current success, says uh, Fisher Rook. Oh man, I knew it. I should have kept losing. But on the other hand, now I'm in a better mood. And I do value my own mood. Let's go here. Brilliant and very clever, says B Muffle. Yeah, so he does get a point for the draw. Uh, I could have just taken the knight. My God, I got to stop reading chat. There are just so many times during the course of the Arena Kings. My opponents just blunder and I miss it for no good reason. He just blundered that knight on B6 and I didn't take it. Also, I'm assuming that my opponent doesn't blunder pieces in one move. Uh, maybe I should stop making that assumption and always be on the lookout. Um, take this one. I guess I'm going to do that. I don't know how to evaluate this. Probably white is a little bit better, but the knight is more mobile. It can attack more places. So in a blitz game, I would say that probably black is doing just fine. More blunders equals more tilt equals more viewers equals more chat equals more blunders. Ah, uh, yes. You have found the theory of blunders. Uh, this guy is just trying to make a draw and he's also succeeding. He's making a pretty good effort at just exchanging all the pieces. Actually, he's doing a very good effort of just exchanging everything. This is annoying. Oh, 
On the other hand, I did just mess up my streak, so maybe I should just make a draw. Take with the knight. Come on, I dare you. I double dare you. Take with the knight. Come on, dude. Take with the knight. Take with knight. Take with the knight. No, by all means, take your time. <laughs> okay, he didn't take with the knight, which is a bit of bad news. But on the other hand, that was not a good move. And now I'm feeling cautiously optimistic. Right up until the point where he played that. Okay, let's try another way of doing this. Trying to restrict this knight out of the game. Let's go here. Now, I guess I'm not going to make any progress unless I do this. And then this. Now I have to do this. Any chances of a Zulzwang? Maybe. It's not out of the question. Unlikely, but not out of the question. Okay, I'm not sure about that move. I, I don't feel like he should have allowed me to go to uh, b6 with my king. Because now the a pawn is going to be really, really dangerous. Uh, let's go here, actually. This is interesting. And now here, getting two fronts. Now this one, and this one, and this one. Okay, so I made some progress. I won a pawn, but on the other hand, he managed to eliminate a couple of pawns. see what's going on let's just push these guys oh i missed knight f6 i missed knight f4 ah uh, that's a bit of a crisis okay now there's not a lot of pawns left to win this game I just got to make sure that I keep this guy alive. But right now, that does seem like something I can manage. And now for the Tulzwang. Actually, I'm going to have to lose a tempo. Uh... Okay, I got there in the end, but it was a hard-fought game. Uh, yeah, we're not going to have time to check the standings. Next game against Pep from Russia. I have started to remember playing my normal openings. Uh, thank you to Snyman with the second 200-bit chair. Thank you. D5. Is this some new move I'm not aware of? Did he mouse slip or is that a brilliant novelty? That might actually be a brilliant novelty. Wow, D5. I'm going to have to check that after the stream. D5. That's... That's... That's so brilliant. I have no words. Okay, I'm going to assume that this was preparation on his part. And I'm just going to play something boring to take him out of book. Yes, that is $2. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, 
Okay, I think my strategy with playing a uh, passive looking move has actually worked really well. And I feel like I have an advantage uh, with the weakness of the pawn on, um, on c6. Maybe he should have taken back with the pawn on d5. Sacred Silence with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to play b3 to protect this guy. And then... This is a free pawn. Should I take the free pawn? I guess I'm going to take it. I don't know what else I'm going to do with my time. But on the other hand, I am allowing him to get his rooks into pretty good spots. Yeah, probably I shouldn't have taken that pawn. He's getting a lot of counterplay right now. Okay, I'm gonna try this move. Hoping that he plays rook c2. Because if he goes rook c2, I'm just going to push my queenside pawns. And, well, essentially hope for the best. Okay, rook c3 makes absolutely no sense. Because I wanted to play b4 anyhow. Okay, so we got ourselves an end game. I don't really know how to assess this. Probably I'm worse, even though I think I'm better. I think I misjudged this end game. Yeah. Okay, but it's okay. I'm going to flag him. That is the go to strategy in these kind of uh, end games. I'm not going to make a draw with you. I'm going to flag you. Okay, that's a bit of a bad place to have your rook. Allowing me to get my king into the fray. Okay, I'll admit that was not the best way for me to... And I tricked him in time trouble from a completely drawn position and got the win. I'm such a evil human being, but after other people having flagged me repeatedly, uh, I have decided to strike back in the same fashion. Okay, rook e8. I have never seen that move before. What is going on? Rook e8. 
What is... I do not understand what just happened. Rook e8 is not the go-to move in this position. I'm gonna execute my plan. It's such an easy plan too. Such an easy plan. Okay, I just blundered my pawn in the center. Or did I? Maybe I can play knight takes d Ooh, this just became very complicated. Uh, because I actually kind of blundered. Because I thought I could play bishop takes h7 check. But I cannot do that when my king is here. Let's go with this move. It feels to me like this is just winning for uh, for white. Yeah, I think so. I think this is just winning. Uh, of course, I missed that move. That I did not see. Okay, how to proceed? I guess I'm just gonna centralize my pieces and hope for the best. Um, I'll take back. Yeah, I felt like I was winning instantly, uh, but this is not winning instantly. Let's just put it like that. Uh, however, this is still pretty promising for white. Take that one, take that one. Maybe. You know what? I'm just going to play it simple. Play the rook pointing towards e7. I'm even going to change my sitting position. That's how good I feel about this stuff. Knight a5 does prevent most of the plans I was intending. Hmm, I lost control of this. I thought I was just winning instantly and here I am having a lost control. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go back. This time I'm gonna attack the king. And hopefully that's gonna stress him out a little bit. Probably should have played queen f2 before going, yeah, and that is the reason why. Okay, but take this one, take that one, and then queen f2. This is also going to be promising. Threatening knight takes e4, threatening f6, threatening, I don't know, knight g4 maybe. I have so many threats. Such a good position. Probably queen g5. No, queen g5, then I can just take here. Okay, knight c4, trying to exchange. Uh, let's go here and then see what happens. Um, take, take, take. That's not going to work, so I'm going to take this one. And then take this one. Ooh, he decides against trading, but that's not going to be very good because now I have this threat. I'm not sure what he's intending. Okay, he just blundered. He just blundered. That's uh, four in a row. Actually, it's more like eight in a row. If it hadn't been for the Turkish kid just... <laughs> making a draw out of the gate uh, so that probably may be clever from the turkish kid making that draw 
Now I'm playing against Blitzstream, who is way ahead in the standings. Uh, we're going to play a London system. I know that Blitzstream, one of his main strengths is that he's able to play so quickly in these games and um, really create some, uh, some trickery for his opponents. And it's already started with him playing g4. That is some trickery. And then g5. His opening repertoire is probably just a bowl of tricks. Um, yeah, I'm feeling moderately nervous. And by moderately, I mean pretty darn nervous. I'm going to do this. I mean, we're both attacking on separate sides of the board. Yeah, he blunders. He blunders. Or maybe he has bishop h7. If he has bishop h7, I lose. Yes, he does have that. And I'm lost. What a tricky guy, such a beast. Such a beast, just killing me like that. My God. This is how he wins so many games. This is why he's ahead of me in the, in the Arena King standings. He's just a beast at getting these tricky tactical positions. And then his opponent blunders and he gets those quick wins. Those very valuable quick wins. That is his expertise. And now he plays Queen T. What the? He trapped my bishop. He trapped. It did not occur to me that that bishop was even in trouble. And here he goes trapping it. Wow. This is just different level stuff. Man, I feel so bad at chess right now. I cannot protect the bishop. I mean, it's surrounded by my pieces, but I cannot protect it. Unbelievable. Okay, I guess I'm going to take this one. Okay, I'm going to keep fighting. Keep fighting till the bitter end. I'm going to be doing that. I should probably resign. No, but it didn't work. The bishop was hanging on h4. So bishop takes g6 wasn't good. It was just bad. I just played the wrong... I just played the wrong move to punish it. Uh, his sacrifice wasn't even good. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit squeezed. See, this is why you now have 260 viewers, says Chess Coding. Yeah. The, the viewers seem to be a bit... Seem to like me tilting a little bit. Yeah. He's actually a bit nervous. He wouldn't be spending all of this time if he wasn't scared of messing it up against me. But, unfortunately, I don't see how he's going to mess this up. I mean, it's a queen for nothing. Ugh. 
Ah, uh, that hurts. Quick look at the standings. Mayer is not in first place, but he has an eight game streak. Ooh, and now I'm feeling good about this game. I'm feeling very good about this game. Because we all know how it's going to go. Feeling pretty good about this game. Unless he's playing tricks of the mind against me. I'm feeling pretty good about this game. We did that once before, but that other time I was on a streak. This time it just got me in a better mood. Okay, Victor, you're up. I'm coming straight from a loss, yet I feel somewhat happy. You're in bad luck, my friend. Uh, the Semislav? Okay, let's play this. Because I have been watching Bartholomew play me. And he just goes for this structure, pretending like it's something. And then he actually does manage to get a little something. And first of all, you shouldn't place your bishop here. This is not the semi-slav. You're confused, my friend. Drawing buddies, says uh, Charlie. Yeah, that it's nice to have some friends, you know. It's nice to have some something you can rely on. I think actually I think I've been beating him so much. I, that's what I like to think, but probably he was just coming off a loss as well. So he thought he was ruining my streak. But seeing as how I just lost as well, we were both just, you know, basically avoiding each other. That's the main part of that. Okay, let's do this. And then I guess he goes rook, king b8. He's thinking about it. King b8. Actually, I'm going to go here. Trying to do the minority attack. That's going to be pretty good. I don't mind exchanging queens. So if you're up for it. Honestly, I don't mind. I could have just taken the bishop. What? That is the second time today an opponent of mine blunders a clean piece and I don't take it. This is so sick. This really should not be happening. That's horrible. Unbelievable. I think people will be surprised when Hammer plays 100 to 200 points stronger in a serious match. Well, that's kind of my plan for the uh, qualifier. Uh, but you never know whether or not it's going to work out. Actually, I let him get his knight to c4. I really should not have allowed that. I, I let him have way too much counterplay in this game. Ooh, and now I even blundered an exchange. He can go knight b5 and then bishop a3. Unbelievable. I had this completely under control and now I'm going to have to flag the guy instead. When is the qualifier? Ask, asks locality. Uh, it's Tuesday. Uh, the upcoming Tuesday. Let's move the king.
Hammer's plan. Play bad chess during the Arena Kings and Title Tuesday to surprise his opponents during the speed chess qualifier. Yes. That is pretty much it. That is my secret. Well, what used to be my secret plan. Rook g4. I don't know what that's about, but he resigned. So probably it's a mouse slip. Uh, I can take that and put the king back to e2. Trushnikov is my next opponent. Let's go with another Berlin. Berlin. How do you feel about the Berlin? No, you want to play a boring scotch game. Okay, that's your right. There was some kind of new novelty in this position. There was some kind of new idea here. But I... My memory is so bad. Okay, I'm gonna do this. It's only internet blitz, right? What's the worst thing that can happen? You lose the game. I remember there being some kind of new idea. I don't think this is it. This just looks like a piece down for absolutely nothing. I mean, what was that new idea? It was very impressive, but it seems I cannot remember the moves. Oh, this is so bad. I'm a piece down for absolutely nothing. <sighs> Just another day at the office. My memory used to be okay. But that was apparently some time ago. Okay. I might have fighting chances. I might have fighting chances after all. Okay, of course I did not see that move. A burst of optimism before I saw him playing king f2. Uh, and now that burst of optimism is gone. Rook f1, that's a good move. Actually, I could have played queen c5 after king f2. That might have been a draw. And instead, I doubled my rooks too quickly. And now his king gets away. Ah, maybe it doesn't get away, actually. Ah, but he has rook f3. Clever guy. Yeah. What are you going to do? Just c4. c4 and I have nothing. Uh, my hopes are back up. My hopes are back. This is a bit of trickery for him. I'm offering a draw, being very cheeky. And he actually accepts. I made a draw. I gave away a piece for nothing. And still I made a draw. That's not too shabby. Uh, the last samurai is actually doing pretty okay. Despite you know, giving away two draws against me in a row. Uh, let's try to remember what Garrick did against me the last time. Yeah. I tried playing this opening with white against Garrick uh, to kind of figure out what I should do uh, with the... Uh, 
Okay, I guess I'm gonna go here. I don't understand how he can play this. I mean, this has to be nothing, right? He really feels like this is something for white? I don't know. Let's just double these rooks. I'm getting outplayed after making fun of his opening. That's not a good sign. Maybe he goes queen knight b5. <sighs> yeah, I shouldn't make fun of his openings and then lose. That's not good. But I don't understand how he can feel this is something for white. But then again, if he repeatedly beats me in this, then how can I say anything against it? Yeah, where am I going to move you, my friend? I guess I only have one square. Now this was kind of my idea, but it's a bit passive. It'll, it'll have to do. Maybe I should double my rooks. Yeah, I'm going to double these guys. And do this. Ah, it's probably just going to be a draw in the end. Yeah. He doesn't even want to draw. Does he really think he's better here? No. That can't be right. He really thinks he's better here or he just wants to flag me? Because if he just wants to flag me, I'll allow that. But if he really thinks he's better, then I need to study some chess. I should have just let my time run out. I'm not going to bother playing this against him if he's just going to flag me. Okay, maybe I should flag him just to punish him for his behavior. What are you going to do, my friend? Come on. Let's just make a draw and sing Kumbaya. He's really going for it, huh? What am I going to do with you? All you want to do in life is flag me. You should get a new hobby. OK, 
Okay, so I could have made a draw if I wanted to, and I decided I did not want to. But now I kind of changed my mind again. Uh, I really should flag him on account of him being a jerk to me a couple of times. Ooh, and I blundered. Wow. Uh, I'm not going to flag him. Maybe, I, I don't know. I don't know if I even could if I wanted to. Let's just get that streak, Mayer streak, off. Okay, so it does appear that he really thought he could win that endgame. And I kind of feel like I proved him wrong. But on the other hand, if I had just played it out... I don't know. I seriously considered just offering a draw and letting my time run out. But I guess that's not very productive. It's not going to teach him a lesson at the very least. Um, so this opening, it's been a while since I played this opening. I don't remember anything about what I'm supposed to do. I vaguely remember some sort of... Queen E1. Let's go here. This is some something along the lines of what I remember. But I don't remember whether it's good for me or bad for me. <laughs> Getting this kind of structure with the two bishops and the open G file. So that was kind of my point with King H1, right? Is to just uh, expecting bishop takes F3 to happen at some point. Okay, so what's going on right now? I guess he's going to go rook E6 and try to checkmate me with rook H6. That's going to be interesting. No, he's not doing that. Uh, I was actually kind of scared about that. So I guess it's a good thing he decided not to checkmate me. And let's move this bishop away. Yes, I think I'm happy with this trade. And then I'm going to go after this guy. So are you threatening to take this one? Uh, possibly? Probably. Okay, I should protect that one. And then I guess I'm going to do something like this. I would really like to exchange queens. So maybe a4 and queen b5. Yeah, that kind of stops that plan. Now he's coming with his knight to c4. And I cannot stop it. Am I getting completely outplayed? That's horrible. I mean, how did this happen? I had a completely normal position and now I have some kind of positional nightmare. How did that happen? And how did it happen so fast? Okay, I'm going to have to move faster because he's going to flag me. And unless I start speeding up. Also, he's having very juvenile tricks. Trying to do some 
nasty things to my position. But he's not playing very well. I mean, he got the good position, but since since then, he hasn't been impressive. Of course, neither have I. Getting myself into that trouble to start with, and now kind of just going with the flow. He let me back into the game, I would say undeservedly so, uh, but he's still flagging me. And I don't think I'm going to get him to not flag me. So I'm going to have to play some quick moves. Okay, speaking of which, he did not play very well. He did not play this very well. I think that's the confirmation. Just giving away the pawn for nothing. Okay, he's going to try to flag me. But now I'm a pawn up, so I feel a bit more confident about it. Um, I don't have too many safe squares for the bishop. That's a bit of a problem. Okay, safe square for bishop created. Let's go here. No! Whew. 0.3 seconds. He should know better than trying to flag me. And that is a warning to all of you. Trying to flag Hammer, that's gonna not work out well. That's not gonna work out well. A warning to everyone watching. Do not try to flag hammer. 200 bits from Snyman. Thank you. Dirty hammer. Are you kidding me? That was not dirty. I mean, you have completely misunderstood the concept of dirty. Dirty is what he did. He avoided a repetition trying to flag me. What I did was punish him. Punish him for being such a guy thinking he can defeat me. Uh, in a time scramble with a pawn down. Chess Bay with 300 bits. Thank you. Hammer the Punisher. That is what I want to call that sequence of events. You know what? I'm, I'm inspired by my opponent's play in the previous game. I'm inspired by his play, so I'm going to get a knight to c4 in honor of my last opponent. However, Mr. Psycho Killer is not interested. He wants to have the hanging pawns, but I'm not sure this is the best situation for those hanging pawns. I'm going to play rook e8 and e5 pretty quickly ah no actually he's gonna play f4 f4 maybe i'm underestimating f4 but he didn't do it probably he should have and now for hammer's next move drum roll queen h5 that seems good enough 
and then some rook to the c file and the other rook to the e file trying to do e5 he just got hammered says fisher rock the dirty punisher says costas that's more like it it's not dirty flagger at the very least the emotion, the passion, intense stuff, says Ender. It's nice to see you fired up again, says Chess Bay. Well, I try. Let's take a look at the uh, standings. Uh, no, actually, my opponent moved. Uh, but let's get a rook to the C file and then to the E file. I did have my moves ready. Um, Paul, the guy I just beat actually is leading the tournament by quite a bit he has a huge lead in the tournament so i don't know why he felt like he needed to flag me because he had the lead regardless uh okay no more chance for playing e5 i guess i'm gonna turn my attention somewhere else uh yes i'm gonna double on the c file that is my new plan my opponent is going to play a4. I'm going to play rook c8, then bishop a3, then... Okay. Did not see that move coming. Okay, I'm going to take this one, and then take this one, and then go here. Now this move, threatening knight f7. And this is interesting. This is very promising for me. This guy has 2,500 rating, but honestly, I don't feel like he's defending it so far in this game. Uh, let's go here. You know what? Maybe here. Free pawn. You know how I feel about free pawns. And now let's go here. And then this move. Ooh, we're getting low on time. Okay, this should be pretty easily winning for me, but we are a bit low on time. That was not a good move. That is a better move. And he felt straight for it. Straight for my little trap. And I win the game. Two games in a row. I feel like I had more than two games in a row. Sorry. But we're going to take a look at the standings. And I'm nowhere near the top 10. I think I've been playing good chess. I mean, I gained more than 30 blitz rating points. I don't understand what's going on. Why, do not, why don't I have more points? I am at my highest ever chess.com blitz rating. And yet I am not among the top players in the standings. This is, I do not understand what is going on. I'm having a great tournament. I have my highest ever chess.com rating. 
Why am I not way up in the standings? This makes no sense. You don't understand it. I do not understand. Rigged tournament, says King Coney. Yeah, that's my opinion. Um, I should play quicker, because I'm playing at 1600. Speaking of rigged tournament, I mean, why am I playing a 1600? Uh, this seems overly helpful for my cause, but on the other hand, I'm not playing quickly enough to exploit the fact that I'm playing a 1600. Let's play fast. Let's take this pawn on the next move. That was a nice opposite colored bishop endgame. I feel like I played that game pretty well. Okay, you're going down, science champ. You're going down. Maybe I should have taken this one instead. Yeah, I should have done that. Mm. Take this one. I blunder a bishop. I'm playing a 1600 and I blunder my bishop. Unbelievable. I need to get my head in the game. You should feel offended that you got a 1600 when you claim to be on very good form, says Ender. Well, honestly, I thought that was what I was doing. I thought I was being kind of confused as to why I'm playing this guy. I have 41 points. Wow, I actually am nowhere close to the top placers. I have 41 points. I'm actually... It's not even close. Okay, now I didn't blunder this guy. It's a trap, but he fell for it. Okay, so I spent a bit more time than I should have against this probably lovely person. 1600. Uh, now it's checkmate on in two moves uh, so how am I doing in the standings still not on the list I have 40 45 points and I need 52 to even be in top 10 so I need to speed up actually I'm gonna stop talking right now because I got another very fortunate pairing so I'm just going to I'm I'm going to focus on this game to get myself back into the Ooh, and this guy plays the same opening as Blitzstream. Well, now I know what to avoid. So I'm going to be a bit more careful. Let's see how are we going to beat this guy? Remember 1600s are still people, says Claudie. Yeah, I'll try to keep that in mind. It's just so difficult to remember. Um, let's um, let's go here. Develop this bishop on a nice diagonal. This one coming up. Okay, I would really appreciate it if you played a little bit faster, Mr. ATGF from Georgia, the country, not the state. Noobs are not people, says Trippengaffel. Um, that is your opinion. It's a bit harsh, but it's your opinion. You're entitled to one. Did I encourage you to have that opinion? You know, some might say. I'm actually getting completely outplayed. I mean, I'm not even kidding. This 1600 is just winning against me. And uh, shame on me. 
I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm in so much trouble on the board. It's not even funny. If I miss my chance to get into the top 10 because I lose to a 1700, then I'm going to win the viewership prize for sure. Because then there's going to be some mad tilting coming your way. Stop talking and impress us with your play. Well, you guys are not easily impressed, I assume. Okay, uh, my position improved quite a bit over the past two moves. I'm still worse, but I have some chances. For instance, I'm going to win this rook. I was kind of hoping he would fall for this one. Flag him, says Klukas. Yeah, that's my plan. Well, honestly, that's my plan B. My plan A is just exploiting blunders. Uh, B4 is very tempting, but I'm going to go here. I'm going to have that move next. Anyway, so no use playing it while my th queen is under attack. Tough crowd today on Twitch, says Chespe. Uh, honestly, I haven't been paying too much attention to the chat. Uh, I feel like I've been focused. And also, I feel like my results um, show that I have been focused. Because uh, I gained like 40 rating points, which is not incredibly easy, uh, being reasonably high rated. So I feel like I, I brought my A game. Uh, I'm not being rewarded for it, uh, but I'm playing okay. The highlight was the flag with 0.3 on the clock. Yeah, that felt pretty good. I was happy with that one. Probably I've been making too many draws against Georg. If I was a natural born killer like Georg is, then um, I would have flagged him. No mercy. Um, let's take this one. Um, I'm not being accurate, but that's okay. And for the checkmate, I spent way too much time on that game. I really thought playing one of the lower rated would be very nice for my chances in the tournament. But as it turns out, not that great. This guy is playing super fast and pretty boring, which honestly is not a great combination for me because that means it's going to be a very difficult game to win. But he's making some concessions. He's playing a bit yeah, he's making some inaccuracies. Um, can I do this? Maybe not. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. See what happens. Yeah, of course he plays this move. That I really should have expected. <laughs> the guy has been playing the most boring moves for the entire game. I really should have seen him playing his ruck there. Okay, I guess I'm just going to keep exchanging. He's way up on time. He's got that going for him. Oh, this is so boring. I have no words. Okay. He declines the draw. I mean, let's not waste any more time. Okay, 
Yeah, I'm gonna play something strange. And now Paul is playing boring. I expected more of you, Paul. I expected more than this boring play. Am I a little bit worse? Possibly. But it's not a lot. It's not very much. Actually, I'm gonna offer a draw here as well. Okay, there seems to be a new thing going on in the Arena Kings. A lot of people being very happy to make draws. For that game, it made sense for me, I think, because um, I was not on a streak. I feel like I have played this against Mr. Vovk previously without success. How did he play g4 against me and I am not better? That's kind of... How did he get into a slightly better endgame when he plays g4 on the first move? That feels like shame on me. Yeah, I'm not too happy with my own play. Come on, Hammer, you can beat these noobs. No draws, says Hooba Booba. Yeah. But draws are so nice. You know, nobody gets unhappy or anything. It's just peaceful, tranquil. Actually, I'm still worse. I'm still worse. Okay, that was a mistake by him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a mistake by him. That move makes no sense to me. Why would he make that move? Okay, I guess I'm gonna go here. And then here. And as has been pointed out, there's 9 minutes 50 seconds left of the tournament. I'm looking pretty good to win this game. You know what? I'm just going to take this. Just keeping it simple. Hammer time. Keeping it simple, getting the rook ending with a solid pawn up. That's the way to do it, people. And then this move. Actually, King C5 is okay for him. Um, okay, I changed my mind. Let's go back. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing, but I'm not sure I can do anything about it. So let's go back. I see what you're doing. Ooh, I completely misplayed this. 
spectacularly misplayed this. I let his king become unusually active. Still better for me, but now it's actually a game. Hammer, you need to boost your rating for the big chess.com event coming soon, says Glenny. Well, um, actually, speaking of which, um, I am at my highest ever chess.com blitz rating. So even though I'm streaming, I'm, I'm doing pretty well. And um, this is, um, this is my, my best level, as depressing as that may be. Okay, I'm going to win this. I'm not too concerned. Yeah, because I have him... Um, I have him cut off along the fourth rank. So this should be a win. Along the fourth rank is a win, no? Suddenly I got a bit insecure. But yeah, I think had his king been here, then it's a draw. But as it is, I'm just winning. Okay, 53 points. How are we doing in the standings? Still, I won three games in a row, no? No, I didn't win three games in a row, but I did pretty well. But still, I'm way behind there. Okay, Queen Scabbit accepted. I am not too familiar with this opening, but I do know how to play boring. This is the way. Let's go here. And then this. I believe this is the way they play it. I thought this was not the best. Um, am I confused? Or is he not playing very well? Surely this is much better for white, no? What is this guy doing? I am confused! Does bishop f3 not win something? It looks to me like I have a massive position. Well, it looks to me like I'm winning an exchange. Well, he has to play f5, but that's pretty depressing. Okay, so I guess I'll take this one. Then a3. I think he played an opening he didn't know, because that was not good for him. He did not get a good position out of the opening. And that's a bit of an understatement. Let's go here. And here. And here. Maybe this move. Actually, I kind of lost my grip on the position. Actually, I may have messed this up already, which surprises me because that was such a good position. Yeah, no, actually, I messed this up. 
Wow. Unbelievable. Yeah, I'm not managing to keep my knight poised here. How did that happen? How did he survive this? Am I going to play for a win? No, I'm just gonna, I'm just going to make the draw. That was not good. <sighs> He's not even taking the draw. Is he playing for a win? What is going on? Knight a2 was an instant draw. He's playing for a win, I guess. Oh, I'm very low on time. I'm very low on time. He's actually playing for a win. He's actually playing for a win. After that horrendous opening display, he is the one playing for a win. That is unbelievable. And I just blundered a piece. Just like that. I blundered a piece. Unbelievable. And he didn't see that I blundered a piece. And then I blundered again. Wow, what a game. What a game. I just blunders everything, both of us. That was, that was poor. How, but how did I manage to get so far behind on time? I, Honestly, I'm looking back through the game. I don't understand how I managed to fall so far behind on time. I had such a good position there. Ah, and there's only 30 seconds left of the arena. So that was my final game of the day. Incredible. Incredible. Why is E4 making a draw, asks Marius. Well, I, I'm allowing him to make a draw if he chooses to, but he chose not to because he just wanted to make. So E4 allows knight takes knight A2, and then this is a draw. Uh, well, I mean, in this position, I mean... How am I not winning here? How did I not win this game? How did I lose this game? It's even worse. Okay, now I'm just depressed. 26.47, I gained. I gained a bit of rating. But I'm not even on the top 10 in the tournament. Gained a bit of rating, but not even top 10 in the tournament. <sighs> Let's see how far down are, do we have to go? Okay, so I was not too far behind top 10, but still not very good. <sighs> First place played 27 games and got 85 points. Uh, Georg in second place, proving once again that he is the only one capable of consistently placing very well. And then we have me, 
placing about number 11, number 10 in every single arena. And 10th place does not give you any sort of points in the summary. So I gained rating. I did not gain money nor points. Looking at this. Looking at this scoreboard, we can see that Mayer is going to increase his lead because he finished above Samurai. So he's going to increase his first place lead, which is unbelievable. He is the only one capable of finishing top three every single time. Um, then we have me placing about number 10 every single time. Uh, and honestly, 10th place does not give you any points. Uh, so the only reason I'm in 8th place overall is because I finished 3rd once or twice. I'm going to have to step up my uh, my game. Today was, I think today was good. I made a new chess.com blitz rating record so i must have been playing good chess but i wasn't getting any points which ultimately is what counts actually i'm gonna go back to this standing 19 out of 26 honestly that's not a very good score 19 out of 26 Whereas Mayer has more points in fewer games played. I should be more like Mayer. Look at all these guys having more points than me with fewer games. A samurai who made those two draws finishes with 25 out of 31. He has five games more than me played. I, I understand that I should try to play quicker, but I don't understand how you have time for 31 games, whereas I only had 26. Oh, well. Uh, hyped for tactics tomorrow, says Marius, which is a good reminder for me to tell you that tomorrow I'm playing... Um, I'm not playing... Thankfully, I'm doing some tactics ahead of a uh, Blitz tournament. So tomorrow in Oslo, I'm going to be playing a, a Blitz tournament at uh, Stian for Grineleka. Um, and before that Blitz tournament, I'm going to practice some tactics. So that is my plan for tomorrow. It's 5 p.m. Oslo time, uh, which is 11 a.m. Eastern. Um, so, yeah, this has been a bit of a roller coaster, but honestly, I'm just happy it's over. <laughs> Because this was exhausting. I went from being very happy to discovering that I had no points in the tournament, which is the more important part. Um, I'm like, how did you do? I finished, well, to illustrate how I did, Amund, this is the top 10 and I am not on the list. So I played good chess, but... Um, not enough points. Is it an over the board tournament or on the line? Yeah, so it's an over the board tournament in Oslo. If you are in Oslo, you really should go to Stian Shaklub for Grineleka uh, as they are having their Blitz tournament tomorrow at 6 p.m. Actually, my stream tomorrow is not 5 p.m. Normally, I have streams 5 p.m., but because the Blitz tournament starts at 6, I moved my stream until 
3.30 p.m. Oslo time, which is 9.30 a.m. Eastern. And it's 9, 6.30 a.m. for Vertwich, who is in California. Okay, uh, that's it from me, everybody. Uh, I'm gonna... Um, Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch off. I guess I'm gonna host somebody. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna host Alec. I'm gonna host some Fortnite play from Alec. Because I'm gonna be watching that to be get in a bit of a better mood. Because this has been a rough, rough day. Divis says that I got sixth among streamers. Really? That can't be right. So uh, I'm I'm gonna host Alec and bye everyone.